So let's look at how to divide complex numbers. In order to divide complex numbers, we need to be somewhat familiar with the multiplication of complex numbers. So maybe just a little bit of revision on that is needed. Uh, you're looking at a keyword here that's in green, the conjugate. Basically in complex numbers, the conjugate, put simply, is you just changing the sign that's in front of the i. So the conjugate of the complex number 3 plus 4i is 3 minus 4i. The conjugate of the complex number minus 2 minus 5i is minus 2 plus 5i. So you're just changing the sign that is in front of the i. That's the conjugate. And what you're doing here basically, as I've said in the text here, is that we are multiplying the top and the bottom of my fraction by the conjugate of the bottom of the fraction, or in other words, the denominator. Sounds a bit confusing, but let's have a look at what it means. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write out my complex numbers. My complex number is 3 plus 2i all over 2 minus i. That's my complex number. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in brackets because as I say up above, I need to multiply them by something. And multiply in maths means brackets. So that's why I'm putting them in brackets. Next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to extend my divide line a little bit further. So I'm bringing it out. And what I'm doing now is just in a different color pen, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of my fraction by the conjugate of the bottom. So look at the 2 minus i is the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, and the conjugate of 2 minus i is 2 plus i. So I'm multiplying the top and the bottom by 2 plus i, 2 plus i. Now, hopefully you can spot there that I'm not doing anything wrong because remember in maths with a fraction, in order to keep it equivalent, I can do something to the top, I must do it to the bottom. So all I'm doing there is writing down an equivalent fraction. That's basically all I've done. Now I have to go off and basically multiply out uh, those two sums, the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction. Now what I do is I kind of just do it as rough work out to the side and I do about it, both of them out separately. So I'm just going to do a little bit of rough work here. Rather than try and do them in my fractions, I'm going to try and do them separately. So first one I'm going to do here is I'm just going to write top for the top of my fraction. So let's do this one out. And how does it look? So it's 3 plus 2i multiplied by 2 plus i. And it's very similar to your algebraic multiplication. You take the first term from the first bracket and you multiply it by the second bracket. You then take the second term from the first bracket, which is the plus 2i, and multiply it by the second bracket. I'm now going to multiply in my brackets. I'm using these arrows to denote multiplication. So 3 by 2 is giving me 6. And 3 by i is giving me 3i. I then multiply in my 2i. So 2i by 2 is getting me a positive 4i. And just be careful here. I have a 2i multiplied by an i, which is giving me a positive 2i squared. Uh, I'm going to now put the 3i and the 4i together. So that's giving me 6 plus 7i plus 2i squared. Now, we know from some previous revision that i squared is the same as minus 1. So just always remember that i squared is always minus 1. And we'll check out another video or some past notes on why that's the case. So what I have to do here is I have to substitute in my minus 1 for the i squared. So I'm just going to put in a bracket here, change the color, and I'm going to write in my minus 1. So I'm substituting in minus 1 for i squared. So that is giving me uh, 6 plus 7i, and 2 multiplied by minus 1 is giving me minus 2. So I'm multiplying in this 2 into the bracket. And now I can group the 6 and the minus 2 together, and that's giving me 4 plus 7i. So that's basically the top of my fraction. So I'm going to come over now to my fraction, and I'm going to write that in. So I'm going to redo my fraction here. So this is equal to 4 plus 7i on the top of the fraction. Now I basically have to go off and do my rough work again, 
for what's on the denominator, the bottom of the fraction. So I'm just going to do that out to the side here. So I've done the top, now I'm doing the bottom. Again, technically that's known as my denominator. And what are we multiplying on the bottom? So we're coming back over to my fraction here. So I'm multiplying out this section here, 2 minus i by 2 plus i. So 2 minus i by 2 plus i. And it's the same principles again, first term by second bracket. So it's 2 multiplied by 2 plus i. Then I take the second term from the first bracket, which is minus i, multiplied by the second bracket. Using these arrows once again to denote multiplication. So 2 by 2 is getting me 4. 2 by i is giving me plus 2i. I'm now coming to the second bracket. Minus i multiplied by 2 is giving me minus 2i. And then I multiply in the second term in the second bracket, minus i by a positive i. Well, two different signs give me a minus and i by i gives me i squared. Now, the whole point of view multiplying by the conjugate is because of this step now. Look what happens here. I have a plus 2i and a minus 2i. You will always notice that one of those will be a plus and the other one will be a minus. So if you're ever doing another question, uh, just make sure that you get um, one being a plus and one being a minus there. So that's the key. That's why you multiply by the conjugate. And a positive 2i minus a 2i, in other words, they will become zero. They will cancel out. So that's leaving me with four. Let's just go back to my blue. Minus i squared. Now what I'm going to do once again, if I come back up to the top, remember what i squared is the same as. i squared is the same as minus one. So I'm going to substitute in minus one for my i squared. So that's giving me four minus, and I'm going to substitute in my minus one. Now, again, you can see a double negative here. So my final answer here is going to be four and I need to multiply this minus into the bracket and a minus by a minus is giving me a plus one. So again, if you wanna look at that another way, what I could do there is I could put a one in front of that bracket and you'd be multiplying in minus one by minus one. So we don't see that one there in front of the bracket, but we know it's there. Okay. and. What's that giving me? 4 plus 1 is giving me a positive 5. So the denominator of my division is now becoming a real number, which is 5. So I'm going to bring that over here now to my question, and I'm going 4 plus 7i is all over 5. And that is our answer. That's our long division, or that's our division of complex numbers. Like I said at the start, all you're trying to achieve here is that the number on the bottom of your fraction becomes a real number. You don't have an i in your answer. It's okay to have an i on the numerator, the top of the fraction, but not on the bottom. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.